Hi there, well let's look at this exercise in drawing circles and dealing with circles in the Affinity Photo. Now it works the same on the iPad as it does on the desktop and this one I'm going to start out on the desktop. Now that, believe it or not, is a circle and you can see that the image behind it is moving around. Let's select the image itself. Now there's the circle. Now I've got it dead center in the, um, on the, on the artboard there. Well, not an artboard, dead center on the project. Let's go looking for words, why don't we? Okay, now how do we arrive at that circle? Well, let's start with a new document. Let's just create that. Now there's a six by four. There's the one we ended up with. And here we go. Now, if you look at that circle, that circle is within a square. Hmm, nice. Okay, circles and squares. So over here to our shape builder, and we've got, find that little arrow on the side there. There we go, rectangle tool and ellipse tool right at the top. So let's go for a rectangle tool and we want to make, we'll set it to red. We want to make this two inches by two inches. Can we get that two inches? Two inches might be a bit big. Two by two by two. Well, that's a little bit bigger, isn't it? But never mind, we're coming back to that. You want a circle. Now let's make this dead center. Now there it is dead center. We'll go over here to the right hand side. Click that there so it's in the center. Now we don't want the lock on. We're just going to make that two inches by two inches. Now you can put the lock on so that if you accidentally alter one side, the other side will alter accordingly. There we go, and it's still centered. Now you think, hmm, that's interesting, but it doesn't look much like a circle. So what we're going to do is make a circle, and the circle will have a black border on it. But let's go over here. We're getting ahead of ourselves. We want a two inch circle. There's the ellipse. How do we make a two inch circle? Easy. Because if I do it in here, it'll probably just move that circle. And I don't want to do that. So I'll go out here and pull out a circle. And you can see it fits in there, more or less. Okay. Now, to make sure that that's two inches, just drag that in. Drag that in. You can see snapping is on up the top up there. That's that little magnet. That's snapping. Now, that's there. That's there. That circle is perfect. Now, how do we deal with this? We want the stroke to be in place. And we want the stroke to be like that. You can see I pulled the stroke out to one point. We've got a one point circle there, but it's red on the inside. Huh, we want to get rid of that. So we select the top layer. We select the bottom layer. And we go up to edit. Well, we can actually, we don't have to do that. Let's just go down here. We do have to go to edit. I've lost where you do it. Convert to curves. Ah, it must be too early in the morning. Okay, so we've got two circles selected, the top one and the bottom one, they're in that order, that's important. Now, convert to curves. They're both curves. Now we go back here, right click again, and go to geometry, and we want to subtract, and this will subtract the top one from the bottom one. Subtract. 
Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? You now have a single object and the circle is a perfect circle. Now, what we can do with that is we can place an image behind that. Let's go find a suitable image. Oh, what have we got? Here's some more circles. There's some more circles. There's some more circles. Let's just give it time to load. I've selected that. Open. And... Place. Oops. Okay. Let's move that back down. Oh. There we go. I could have done that over in the navigator tool. You can see you can move that around in there. Okay. And you think, well, that's a fat lot of good because it's covered everything up. But what we can do is go down there and go down there. Go back to the Move tool, click on that. Now let's just get that covering the whole thing. There we go. Doesn't matter that it's gone a bit off square for this object. And there's our center tool there. Look at that. Isn't that perfect? Now you've got circles within circles. But of course, you don't have to do that. Let's do another circle on its own without the square. This one will not be red, but this one will be green. And it will have the black border around it for the moment. So let's go over here. And you can see I've got a black border, a back black one pixel border around it it's 9 8 7 90 90 93 97 there you go it's one one inch 1.3 by one. Oh, look at that i just got that exact now that's a nice green circle with a black border let's make that two pixels. Now you can see what that circle's doing. It's 5.5 .5 points. Now observe that. The line is in the center. But we don't want it in the center. What we want is, and that's that align stroke to center, align stroke to inside. Now that circle is perfect there. And the black stroke is on the inside of that bar. See if you move that back, it's on the outside, completely on the outside, and on the inside. So it fits within the square of the circle. Let's have a look at transform down here, and you'll see that that square, or the circle, is an inch by an inch, which is just what you want. Perfect. Now, it's not a curve, it's an ellipse, but you can make it a curve if you want to. How do you get rid of that black border? You just go back up to the stroke and turn off the color. You can turn on the color by turning on the color and by making that color. No, sorry, that's the inside. Let's just step back. We've got to select the black because that's the inside. Now, what color do we want the outside of the circle? Yellow. You just select the color you want. You all know how to do that. Now that you've got that little one there, you can select the Move tool, get hold of the little circle, and because it's centered, there it is, perfectly within the other circle. Let's just click the Move tool, so all the handles go away. Now, what could be neater than that? That's how you deal with circles. And of course, given that that's there, 
You can do any of those shapes that you like down there, but at the moment we're dealing with circles and possibly a square if you want to do that. Okay, now moving right along. Okay, now let's have a quick look at this same exercise on the iPad. It's really straightforward and virtually the same except the commands are in a different place. So for a start, let's scroll down here so we can get the circle or the ellipse. Why it's called an ellipse and not a circle, I don't know, but I'm going to draw it out to the same size. And now you can see I've already got the black outline on and that's a result of that up there. Let's make that three or two point four. Oh, oh, that's all over the place, isn't it? Three. There we go. Now let's get back that there. Do that. Select that. Now we can. Pull that down so it's inside the circle. Now to make sure it's all the same size, go to the Transform Studio. 2.385. We want that 2 inches. That one is 2.4 and we want that 2 inches. There we go. Let's drag that down so it's centred. There we go, which means that that layer there is not centered. Now it is. Now both the square or the rectangle, it's actually a square, are both centered. And that one is exactly the size we want it because we've got two inches there and we've got two inches there. Let's turn the lock on so if I inadvertently change its size, then it doesn't matter. It will stay proportionally the same. Now let's take that off. What we want to do with this now is punch out the red middle. Now you'll notice if anything else is selected other than the move tool, which is that one there, select the move tool and your geometry options come into play up here. You've got an ellipse there and a rectangle there. We want them both selected. Select that one, swipe on that one and add the selection so that we've got both selected. But the ellipse is the top or controlling one. Now what I want to do is subtract that from the stack. Subtract. We've got a white see-through circle now and the curve is in the middle. So that's all that's left. Now if we want to place something in there, we go to there, place an image. Let's just place an image straight from, from there. It's my add. Doesn't matter if it's, in this case, doesn't matter if it's the wrong size. But you can see it's on the top. Let's drag that to below the ellipse. Now there we go. And that's all there is to it. It's exactly the same process as you were just watching on the desktop version. The thing to remember is with the geometry, your geometry won't show unless you've got the move tool selected. And you can see there they are at the top. Let's go back there and let's go back there. That's all there is to it. Well, lovely isn't it? Let's end this session there. I'll see you in the next little video tutorial. Go ahead. Make my day. Subscribe.